Hello, my friends. Jacob is here. Thank you again for spending a little time with me. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so happy that you're here and that we can hang out for a little while. And uh, because I, I got to tell you, you know, I don't know if you're ready for the things that I'm going to talk about today. And I hope that you take it in the spirit that it is given, which is the spirit of, you know, compassion and love and hope and uh, excitement because I'm excited to tell you about this today. Uh, it's ancient wisdom. It's the stuff that has been hidden for a long, long time. It's the stuff that I've spent my entire life seeking out. And what a ride it has been. And I'm going to share that with you today. And I've waited a while. I, I think the time is right. You know, back in the day, people were put to death for having this wisdom. People were put to death for just simply asking questions about it. Um, you've heard of the Illuminati, you've heard of those, you know, the secret people that have that secret wisdom and that they know how to cast spells on everyone. Actually, the, uh, the term abracadabra, we're going to get into what that means. It's going gonna, it's gonna to blow your mind because everything really is sort of a little bit of magic all around us. Today is no different. The wool has been pulled over our eyes and we've been existing like miserable, pathetic, sad lumps. Uh, you know, slaves, if you will, just kind of doing whatever we're told to do and never really questioning, never really asking or never really seeking and never really finding the hope and the, the joy and the peace and the life that we so desperately crave. Well, today we're going to find out how to do it, crave. Well, today, well, today, well, today, well, today. Believe it or not, this power, power is in each and every one of you. Keys of the kingdom that uh, Jesus talked about. It's the way, it's the power. How? How? All of you have a problem. So after that goofy intro, uh, thank you for staying. Stay, those of you who have stayed. And, and listen, of course, thank you. I, I want to thank all of you. I'm, I'm blown away. I wanted to talk about the uh, the power that's in us all. This this hidden.
brainwashed when we came here. We were given a name, right? People came to me, they said, well, your name is, is Jacob. And then my experience has molded me into this person that I believe myself to be. And if people told me you're never going to get ahead, I began. I began to believe it because words have power, right? And we're, we're, we're brainwashed by these words on a regular basis. That TV, TV that we watch, that, you know, the phones that we watch and the tablets that we watch. We're constantly bombarded by words, word magic, people. That's that ancient wisdom. That's the stuff that we're ruled by and we don't know. We buy clothes because we are possessed to buy clothes. We buy this new technology because we are we are brainwashed and we are um, manipulated to buy that latest technology because of words, because words have power. You have power, more power than you know.